we're looking forward to, uh, we have four trips down south uh, before the national championship. Um, we'll start off um, taking a bus down to North Carolina and playing some uh, D2, a couple of D2s, um, some NAIA Division II, and a community college. It's kind of, we have a mixed bag in, in beach volleyball. The following weekend, though, we're going to Gulf Shores, Alabama, uh, flying down, and we'll see our top three competitors in Division Three: Hendricks, Huntington, and Barry, along with uh, Spring Hill and Tusculum, two D2 NCAA teams. So that's going to be a real test. Followed by the very next weekend, we're going to, on spring break, uh, and we will play eight matches in four days. Uh, or excuse me, in eight days. We're playing a tri-match day of practice, a tri-match day of practice. So mainly uh, Division II schools. In Florida, we'll come back there. We're flying to Atlanta, and it's a D3 tournament. So uh, it'll be only D3 schools there, followed by a trip to Lynchburg. We'll host, and then we're flying back to Florida for national championship. So it's like a whirlwind, and it's seven weeks of craziness. Um, last year, we played 33 matches, and this year, we should play 33. The schedule is very similar to the year before. Well, you know, we're gearing for the national championship. Uh, in 2022, we won the national championship. Hendricks was ready for us last year, and we got them in the semifinals, and we lost 3-2, to two, and one of the matches was 15-13. to 13 in the third. That's how close we were to going to the national championship match. Uh, this is all in preparation for that. We don't have to get a bid. We know we're going. So I love winning. They love winning. So, but we don't have to win. It's not going to keep us out. So this is all in preparation for that big weekend, uh, the second weekend in, in uh, April down in Orlando. We actually travel very well. Um, last year for the national championship, we had um, five pairs playing, so that's 10 girls. Every single girl had a parent or grandparent there in Florida. So when we go to Florida, the parents <laughs> for the week, for spring break, the parents out of house. You know, so it's, it's really, a, really a, a neat thing. But to be home so their family and their friends and, their, uh, and the school can see them play, and it's such an entertaining game. The athleticism is just unbelievable. The sport has grown and the ability of the players has grown right along with it. Uh, so we'll get to tailgate both days. Uh, we'll play two matches on uh, Friday and two matches on Saturday and sleep in our own beds. So and that is a big advantage. Emmanuel is a brand new Division II program. They're NCAA. They're very strong indoor, uh, which usually translates to being at least having kids that are athletic. Uh, and of course they're D2, NCAA. And Barry, who were playing actually back to back. We're playing them on a Tuesday uh, at St. Leo, and then we're playing them on a Thursday at Weber. So we're playing them back to back, and I expect them to be very good. Again, NCAA, they do well indoors. And um, so I like to play different people. You know, it makes, just makes it a lot more fun. Well, right now, uh, we had nine girls beach only. Uh, and our coaches, my assistant coaches, did a phenomenal job with them in the fall. They got a lot, I feel like they got a lot better. Uh, Eric Hammond, uh, Katie Mor Morano, and Annika Swartz were out there uh, with them, and they just had a ball. And then we were allowed one day of eight hours of competition. So we have them returning. Right now, we're trying to figure out who's going to be partners with who. Uh, so we're put, you know, we'll practice for about half the time we're working on skill work, and then we'll actually we're, we're to the point now we're playing games to determine who's best with who. Because the goal is to put your best 10 players together. Very difficult to do because on any given day. <laughs> you know, and so it's kind of easy to tell who your top two and your bottom two are. It's everything in between that is hard. And we literally will have, we have uh, 16 players, so we'll have eight pairs, and we will have a round-robin tournament. And if you come in first in that tournament, you're the number one pair. If you come in seventh, unfortunately, you're not going to travel uh, until the next challenge. And we have challenges, so they can move themselves uh, up. Um, sometimes the reason we put kids together is because their class schedule and the conflicts they have with practice. <laughs> Are the same, so they have, so they're all, they're all they're like same, similar majors. They're together all the time. They have the same classes, so they're going to miss class. Because if your player, if your person, if your partner misses practice, then you can't practice with that person. But if they both miss at the same time, it's not as big as effect. So sometimes we even look at class schedules to determine who what's the best thing for our team.
That's what we're trying to do. <laughs> it is. You have to have your, your partner there with you to, to be out of practice because it really hurts you. Uh, we've actually been on the sand twice. See, last week uh, we, we started lifts. But Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of last week, it was gorgeous out. They went out on their own. You know, I, no prompting from me, uh, which was great to see. And then uh, this week we started on Monday. It was really cold. But it was our first practice. It was indoors, so we can really go on f over a lot of fundamentals, just changing a lot of their thinking from indoor to beach. Uh, Tuesday was really cold. But Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it'll be nice. So we'll be out the next five days. And it, it's looking good. It's looking good all the way up to Valentine's Day for us to, to not freeze to death uh, out there. And basically, if the wind chill is above 40, we're going out. And they know that. And they're, the enthusiasm, uh, they're just really excited. They're, they're really excited. It's such a different game. And uh, the camaraderie and just yesterday, we finally played matches where they're playing against each other. And, uh, and they're, not try they're not taking turns who they're serving to. We're trying to win now, you know, so amazing, <laughs> amazing hustle and, uh, you know, and support from their partners.